12th, Day of Freedom, the Day of the Filipino Hero, the Day of the New Filipino. An Independence Day message from 97.1 WLSFM. Station, okay lang may mga problema sa mundo bahagi naman sa pag-iikot ng mundo yung problema no? mga um, nag-aaway, buntalan, suntukan barilan mga normal na nangyayari yan eh no? Pero pag no, <laughs> nilipunin mo na yung buhay sa mundo, parang, parang, wala. Talagang disaster lang yung kaihinat na natin dyan, mga Pilipino. Kasi parang tayo yung gagawin yung battlefield. Pakiramdam ko, ha, ganun. Parang sa atin, gagawin yung battlefield eh, dyan sa US military bases na yun. Kaya para sa akin, nonsense. Dapat uh, huwag dito. Dali na lang nila sa bansa nila, huwag narito sa Pilipinas, kawawa, ang daming maapektuhan. They provide employment for us and are the last bastion against insurgency. Palagay ko, dapat tanggalin ang mga US bases dito sa atin. Pero siguro, uh, hindi ngayon. Mga tatlo o apat pa na taon galing ngayon. I feel that uh, at the present time, it is in our interest to keep the bases because money that would otherwise go to external defense can better be spent for the economy of the country. The bases pay rental, the bases uh, provide livelihood uh, for many Filipinos and training as well as uh, other income. And uh, because of this, uh, we are given some time upon which we could utilize the money coming from these bases for economic development. I would like to cite the case, for example, of Japan, which up to now has bases and in fact contributes to the retention of bases to the, in their country so that they can concentrate on their economic development. Korea is another example. Korea has more troops in, the, in Korea than the Philippines. And yet, uh, they, are, they keep their base, the, the U.S. bases they are at in order to concentrate on their economic development. It's a decision that the Philippine people have to make through their government in their own way, and we shouldn't try to dictate that. We hope that our relationships will be such that uh, they will want us to stay. We feel that it's conducive to uh, the national security of both countries, to the economic well-being of both countries, and that therefore uh, the Philippines should welcome the United States bases there. But that's up to the people of the Philippines. Because tears are never enough. Because you have to fight oppression. Because you have to wrest freedom from the clutches of a tyrant. We commemorate this day and reaffirm our vow never again to remain in darkness. An Independence Day message from 97.1 WLS-FM. Ano ka talaga? Sino ka ba? Alam niyo, marami na ang nangahas na magbigay ng kasagutan sa tanong na ito. Ang iba, dinaan sa kanta tulad ng ating nakita. Ang iba, dinadaan sa kanika nilang larangan. Sa media, telebisyon, radyo at pahayagan. Sa sining, sa teatro, pelikula, literatura, painting at iba pa. Lahat sila ay may kanya-kanyang mensahe. May kanya-kanyang ideya kung ano nga ang katauhan natin mga Pilipino. May kanya-kanyang paraan ang pagsasaad nito. Ito yung mga awitin na pinakikinggan, uh, inuulit-ulit at um, kinapupulutan ng um, ilang leksyon. No? Uh, sa halip na maging awitin na uh, isinasayaw o awitin na uh, ginagawang background music. Ang sa akin kasi, ang nasa eksakarnas ako, nakikita ko yung music ang pinakana mabisang tulay na magagamit mo 
para maiparating mo sa puso o damdamin o isip ng tao, ang ano mang gusto mo sabihin? Ito ang tinatawag na revolusyon ng musika, kailangan. Kailangan kumilos din kami. Kasi gising na lahat yung mga ano, yung nasa paligid natin. Gising ka man kung di ka kikilos. The country has not changed all that much. Music soothed us then. Music soothes us now. There were idealists then. There are idealists now. We dreamt of justice, freedom, and peace then. Yet we learn to do something about it now. The country has not changed all that much. Except the Filipino can now hold his head high. Parang kailan lang ang mga pangarap ko'y kay hirap abutin. An Independence Day message from 97.1 WLS-FM. Sa ating paligid, marami nagpapaabot ng kanilang mensahe. Sana naman ay atin silang pakinggan. Sana ay manatili tayong laging gising at tandaan ang lahat ng pagbabago ay sa ating sarili unang nanggagaling. Ang awitin naging theme song ng mga revolusyonaryo, ang kantang sumikat ng usos sa mga kulungan at naging bukang bibig ng sambayanan ng kailan lang. Ipinapahayag nito ang diwa ng kalayaan. Ngunit matagalan natin nakamtam ang ating kalayaan. Hindi na ito ang ating tanging layunin, kundi ito ang instrumentong dapat gamitin upang tayo makatungo sa kaunlaran. Kalayaan para sa ating kinabukasan. The list of martyrs is long. It is written in blood. Lest we forget, we are the heirs of their legacy, of the struggle to be free in a land that is ours, now and forevermore. An Independence Day message from 97.1. Dito na po nagwawakas ang ating palabas. Kami po ay nagpapasalamat sa lahat ng mga tumulong upang mabuo ang produksyong ito. Ang ating mga panauhing mga nganta, ang mga nagbigay ng kanilang mga palagay tungkol sa iba't ibang isyo na hinaharap natin sa ngayon. At higit sa lahat, ang mga nakilahok nating pangkaraniwang tao, ang Pilipino, kayo, tayo, kung kanino namin hinihahandog ang special na ito. Sana ay eh, maulit pa maraming pagdiriwang na tulad nito. Sana maraming pang pagkakataon na maipahayag natin ang pangangailangan ng bayan. At marami pang pagkakataon na mapatunayan na nasa atin ang katuparan ng tunay na kalayaan. Ito po si Orly Mercado nagsasabing magandang gabi po at mabuhay ang kalayaan. Aling pag-ibig ba ang higit kaya? After the Mardi Gras of Edsa, you patted yourself on the back, heaved a sigh of relief, put away your yellow ribbons and rosaries, but it is not yet over, because only you can protect your freedom the same way you did at Edsa. An Independence Day message from 97.1 WLS-FM. Hear this, all you peoples. Listen, all who live in this world, both low and high, rich and poor alike. My mouth will speak words of wisdom. The utterance from my heart will give understanding. I will turn my ear to a proverb. With a harp, I will expound my riddle. Why should I fear when evil days come, 
when wicked deceivers surround me, those who trust in their wealth and boast of their great riches. No man can redeem the life of another or give to God a ransom for him. The ransom for life is costly. No payment is ever enough that he should live on forever and not see decay. For all can see that wise men die, the foolish and the senseless alike perish and leave their wealth to others. Their tombs will remain their houses forever, their dwellings for endless generations, though they had named lands after themselves. But man, despite his riches, does not endure. He is like the beasts that perish. This is the fate of those who trust in themselves and of their followers who approve their sayings. Like sheep, they are destined for the grave and death will feed on them. The upright will rule over them in the morning. Their forms will decay in the grave, far from their princely mansions. But God will redeem my soul from the grave. He will surely take me to himself. Do not be overawed when a man grows rich, when the splendor of his house increases. For he will take nothing with him when he dies. His splendor will not descend with him. Though while he lived, he counted himself blessed, and men praise you when you prosper, he will join the generation of his fathers who will never see the light of life. A man who has riches without understanding is like the beasts that perish. You have been listening to radio station WLS, a commercial FM broadcast station owned and operated by the Republic Broadcasting System Incorporated. DWLS FM operates at 97.1 MHz from 5 in the morning until 12 midnight with a power of 10,000 watts under NTC license number BC-016984. Our studios and transmitter are located at the GMA Radio Television Arts Complex along Edsa and Quezon City. DWLSFM is operated and maintained by the following personnel, duly licensed by the National Telecommunications Commission. Engineer Emil Salidum and First Class Radio Telephone Operators, June Lopez, Juan Guab, Rodolfo Nuida, Vic Day Jr., Rosendo Soriano, Henry Trinidad, Robert Gusap, and Manny Castro. WLSFM will be back on air later for another day of broadcast. Until then, thanks for listening. Ladies and gentlemen, the Philippine National Anthem.